Hi, my name is Kumar Barwa, and this is Munich Match. I had a lovely conversation with the person you're going to hear today. One of the questions I asked was about magical moments. So enjoy snippets of my conversation with... Naomi Susan Isaacs. Naomi, how long have you been in Munich? I've been in Munich for 48 years. I arrived on October the 18th, 1968. We drove off the motorway, the Stuttgart Autobahn, onto the Verdistrasse, and there was a clock on the wall that said a quarter past one, lunchtime. And I remember wondering whether I would still know that in another couple of weeks' time. Now it's 48 years later, and I still know it. Images which you have from your first time when you came here. I think I noticed a general architectural style, and I noticed one thing. Everybody in England said, oh, the Germans, oh, and everybody was friendly and helpful. Invited us out a lot, invited us to join their groups, go to the mountains. Very proud to show us the mountains, of course. There are many magical moments in a person's life. As a teenager, can you remember a magical moment? I'd like to answer your question in a very different way, if I may. I don't remember magical moments as such. I remember surprising moments and odd moments. I do remember one thing, which was actually extremely painful at the time, for which today I'm incredibly grateful. It's certainly not what you're thinking of, teenage and younger year, and yeah, in my young 20s. Emotionally very dulled by the fact that our father left when I was 14 and I was forbidden ever to see him again by his new wife. And that created an excruciating pain. The only way to deal with that was to deaden everything. So I went through life very much on the surface, on the outside, in an act of defiance. I remember being doubled up in pain about my father leaving and being told later that this is how people act when somebody dies. I didn't know that. I just know that that was how I felt. And I'm now incredibly grateful for these memories, partly, of course, for the fact that they are memories and they're wonderful, but to know that I experience something which is maybe close to what other people are experiencing in great loss, so that their loss doesn't embarrass me, their pain doesn't embarrass me. I can talk to them and they can talk to me. This enriches my life now. A moment like that after coming to Germany? Seeing my book for the first time, that, that was magical. Boss of Dinterthala came round and presented me with the first handmade copy of my book. I still have a photo of that, laughing my head off with pleasure. Then when the other 600 copies came, that was also pretty magical. But going further back, magical to be alive having crashed a, a sail plane, a glider plane in the woods. On one occasion, I just ran out of height, had to land somewhere, and the only available somewhere was a road which went through the woods. And I think basically I switched off my conscious thinking. I remember praying, God, give me a lift, give me a lift, give me a lift. I remember landing on the road. Then I don't remember an awful lot. What I do know is that the left wing of the plane caught in the trees and it spun the plane round. When I came to, I had opened the top of the plane and got out. And there were two cars in front of me and one behind me. And we had all not crashed. I mean, I'd crashed the plane, but the only thing I had to show for it was two big bruises. I had no injuries. And that was incredibly magical to, to realize I'm still alive. I believe I have angels. I really do. That look after me. And if you want to hear more interesting stories, then like our page on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you want to tell a story of your own, get in touch with me. Have a great day.